So on a recent trip to the Smokies, I had one night to stay in Pigeon Forge. So in honor of the late, great Jimmy Buffett, I decided to try the Camp Margaritaville RV Resort and Lodge. Welcome to Smokies Live. This is Chris, your host. The Camp Margaritaville RV Resort and Lodge is located right off the parkway in Pigeon Forge, right when you enter from Gatlinburg. The resort is relatively new to the Pigeon Forge area as it opened on September 7, 2022. While the resort seems to be mainly known for its RV resort, I decided to give the lodge a try for my one night in Pigeon Forge. And spoiler alert, it was a good decision. One interesting note is you had to use your key card for your room to actually work the elevator. I paid a base rate of about $115 for the night. Now when you add on the taxes and the $18 resort fee, it came out to $148.26. This was $40 more a night than the motel I got in Townsend the night before, but let me tell you, it was a world of difference, trust me. Rates can get as high as the 300s in peak season. Now they do offer some discounts according to their website. They offer a hero discount for military and first responders. Also a senior citizen discount for everyone 65 or older. Triple A and AARP discounts are all available. Looks like they were going for an island, beachy type feel, but set in the mountains. And you know what? I think it actually worked. The room and the resort itself was full of bright colors that remind you of the beach, but there were also little hints of the mountains. The alarm clock in the room had a couple USB ports where you can charge devices. This is very important nowadays, especially with families. There is a small desk in the room, which is very convenient, especially if you're working remotely. However, I think I'd rather be working at the pool with a margarita in my hand, which I'm not sure how much work I'll get done. The kitchen area in the room is actually well set up. There's a microwave and an actual Keurig machine, which is very nice. They also provide some free K-Cups, including Caribou Coffee, which is actually a pretty decent brand. They also provide a Margaritaville-inspired ice bucket. They also provide two complimentary bottles of Margarita-inspired water, which is nice. All you're really missing is a Margarita machine and that darn lost shaker of salt. I also really like this Tropical-inspired retro refrigerator with those nice little Margaritaville touches, lice in the chill. In fact, these little Jimmy Buffett inspired touches are sprinkled throughout the resort. On to the bathroom area. The bathroom has a nice brightly lit LED mirror. So plenty of towels, including some pool towels, which I thought was a very nice touch. They also provide a hair dryer under the sink. I tried to open this cabinet here, but it was sealed shut. Probably just plumbing, hopefully. Let's do the toilet paper test. Two ply toilet paper. Inside the shower, they provide the standard conditioner, shampoo, and shower gel. Hotels providing these pumps instead of the small bottles seems to be a common occurrence now. It's a very large and spacious shower. You could probably fit a whole family in there. Although, that might get a little awkward, so I wouldn't recommend it.
There's even a decent sized closet here to hang your clothes and they have a full size ironing board and iron. Just a quick look out the window at the RV park. It was very full for September. I priced in October, which is peak season. The average price for a lot per night was around $150. Now I imagine in slower seasons it'd be a little bit cheaper. Now how could I visit Margaritaville Resort and not try at least one margarita? Here's a list of the margaritas that they offered in their restaurant. Now speaking of food, there are two locations at the resort that offer food. The Sunbaked Barbecue Hut, which is at the Lazy River, and Finn's Bar and Grill, which is located inside the main building of the resort. Here's a look at their menu. Although, I was disappointed there wasn't a Cheeseburger in Paradise cheeseburger. However, I did end up having the Cajun Steak Meal, and it was very good. Very tender, very juicy. I would definitely recommend it. I also ordered the key lime pie for dessert to take back to the room. It was also very good. A good balance of tart and sweet. I highly recommend. Ben's Bar and Chill had a great atmosphere. The restaurant was open in the front to the outside. That with a combination of some of Jimmy Buffett's greatest hits playing over the speakers. It was a great, fun atmosphere. I would definitely recommend it as well. Fortunately, I had a very short amount of time at the resort, so I wasn't able to experience all the amenities. So I thought I'd give you a brief overview of what they have. Downstairs in the main building, they had duck pin bowling, also had billiards. They had an arcade with darts and foosball. There was an outdoor fire pit area, pickleball, a kid's playground, a pool and lazy river. Who doesn't love a lazy river? And a place for your pets. This resort is also in the perfect location if you're planning to visit Dollywood. It's a less than 10 minute drive to Dollywood. So if you don't want to spend the money to stay at Dollywood Stream Mall Resort, this is a great alternative to that. Overall, I think this is a great addition to the area and I would highly recommend this resort. And I definitely want to get a chance to go back and bring the kids. I think they would really enjoy all the amenities. The beds were comfy, the room was spacious, and most importantly, the room was very clean. Overall, I'd give the resort a nine out of 10. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Smoky Mountain videos. And as always, thanks for watching.